It is a very interesting conversation that's happening right Didn't you buy your that... first and second born children? Yes, yes. <laughs> I thought that's so, what it was. Right. So what about what Stedman said? Well, I, I do think that's interesting because Stedman says that he thought the reporter said to him, would she make a good president? And he said, absolutely, she would. That's what. That's how he interpreted the question. Because this is the thing, Stedman would, would never so cavalierly say, "Absolutely, she would do it." It's up to the people. He would never do th do that. I got, I got but emails Gail. from people yesterday. Yeah. But wait, no, I got emails from people <laughs> yesterday that said, "Is Stedman being strategic or is he being supportive?" He is nothing but supportive. He would never just throw it out there like that. What were you going to say? Well, no, I'm what? going to ask you the same tough question that I ask guests on this show. In fact. Okay. Stedman did say she would absolutely do it. It's up to the people. That's he, what he said. Yeah, he did say it is up to the people. But I'm telling you, his interpretation of the question was, would she, he thought she would, he, he thought the reporter was saying, would she be a good okay, president? Okay, is she considering it? Uh, no, I absolutely don't think that her position has changed. I don't. You know, I was up talking to her very late last night. I do think this, though, guys, I do think she's intrigued by the idea. I do think that. I also know that after years of watching the Oprah show, you always have the right to change your mind. I don't think at this point she is actually considering it. But listen, there are people who, are, who said they want to be her campaign manager, who want to uh, quit their jobs and campaign for her. She loves this country and would like to be of service in some way. But I don't think that she is actively considering it. For the record, that is a I don't that, think a she's actively change. considering it at this time. That is a change from what we heard in October. It's not a change from her, Jeff. That's a change from me. <laughs> it's not a change from her. So me, fair enough, fair enough. So let me ask you this. Her. So let me ask you, who wrote the speech? Listen, Oprah crafted that speech. She knew how she wanted to start. This was the thing for her. She knew exactly what she wanted to say, and she knew how she wanted to say it. She, she crafted the speech. She talked to an editor at the magazine. And, and the two of them came up with it, but Oprah put down exactly what she wanted to say. Those were all her words. You know, listen, she writes her What I Know For Sure column every week, every month in the magazine. She's a very good writer. We all know she's a very good talker. And so I think that it was a home run on many levels. I thought it, being in that room, I will say this, being in that room was electrifying. It was the right person giving the right speech at the right, right time. She wanted that moment to be more than women wearing black dresses of solidarity. She really did want to speak to young girls around the country. She really did want to say enough already. And I think she delivered on all that in a very eloquent way. But will she run for president? I think it's, I, I, I think it's a very intriguing idea if myself. Some, if someone were to potentially run for president, what do you think their timeline might be? I don't know, Jeff. I'm just looking at this. Yes, she can. <laughs> mm. Nopra. If you took out the P, it would say Nora, which I think is intriguing. I don't think there is such a thing as a timeline. And I'm not trying to be cute here or be uh, mysterious, but I do think it's a very intriguing thing that she had never considered. People said, oh, yeah, she wrote that speech as a launching pad for what she wants to do. That's absolutely not true. Mm -hmm. She worked on it. She rehearsed it. She practiced it. I was the practice audience member. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, I knew the speech was going to be powerful just when she was reading it to time. And you'll like this. Uh, before, when she was there at rehearsal, uh, they told her she had to cut three minutes out of it because it was six minutes long. They said, you have to cut it to three minutes. And Oprah said, if it was any other night than this one, I could do that. But I don't plan on cutting it. As it turned out, with all the applause, it went nine minutes. Wow. And I yeah, think they were very pleased. I think the producers thought, you know, that was worth going late for.